So I suppose there's always an element of the unexpected. Certain gigs just take you by surprise. You, you, you're never really prepared for that. We've been a band for so long. We've been the same lineup since we're 13. And there's a kind of brotherhood. Your friends are there, your real friends are there. Because it is kind of just like the four of us. Remember this time? We played at like a, this DIY pop punk thing that was set up by the council in Macclesfield. And it was quite wild. We were young and alive. Tonight, it's being shown to like a billion people. I never thought it would be like this. When we were very, very lucky to open up for the Rolling Stones a couple of years ago, you could hear them playing in the room next door. They've been a band for 50 years and they still care enough to rehearse or jam before they go on. You know what I mean? That was quite inspiring. Let's play now. Let's play now. You get used to how it feels before you go on, but you never really get used to moments where you really connect with an audience. Going to a live show is about connecting with a lot of other people. The 1975 to me are my favourite band. They're a massive influence in music that I make in my own band. I've listened to them for absolutely years. So unique to what's in the charts at the minute. I just love being there. It's just like a big family and everyone always welcomes you. Honestly, when you tour a lot, we like to mess around backstage. We take our show very seriously and we don't take backstage very seriously. The moment before we go on stage, I think a lot of people will probably have a lot of rituals. There's always an element of the unexpected. I want to be really, really good. The feeling that we get when we go on stage is kind of the thing that we've always been chasing to preserve. It is your job, but you'd never call it your job. You do what we've always done. stage and there's thousands and thousands of people making lots and lots of noise and you're connecting with them and so there's a very vibrant thing and then you come off and there's kind of silence that comes and that can be quite difficult. Realising that you're in your head the whole time as well. You were like, oh yeah, it's still me. That sounds ridiculous. But it's true. 